Hi, everybody. My name is Jay Mandarino. I am the president and founder of the CJ Skateboard Park and School. We're the fourth largest not-for-profit indoor skate park in the world located here in Toronto. We offer skateboarding, scooter riding, and inline skating. We start kids as early as four years old and as late as 54, like myself. Well, a skate park can be a lot of fun, but we need to go over a few safety rules first. First, everybody in the park must have a waiver signed by their parent or legal guardian, or you cannot use the facility. If you are 16 or over, you don't need to wear any equipment unless you are using the foam pit or the vert ramp. For these two features, you must be a skilled rider and are required to wear a helmet and knee pads. If you're under 13, you must wear a helmet, elbow pads, knee pads, and wrist guards. If you are 14 to 16, you only need a helmet. It's important that everyone has the proper safety gear. For your helmet, choose the right size for your head. Check that the buckles are under your ears and that the chin strap has to be loose enough for you to put two fingers under your chin. Up next are the elbows and knee pads. Now slip your elbows and knees through the stretchy sock part. In both cases, the round part is at the top and the square part is at the bottom. If you're looking at the pads, you should be able to read the logo or copy on it. Last but not least are the wrist guards. Only skateboarders and inliners under 13 are required to wear them. First, you'll have to find the plastic plate while putting your thumb through the hole. Then you'll bring the middle strap all the way around and then you'll bring the outside top and bottom straps. As well, you must have running shoes or skate shoes, ideally with flat gum bottoms. All pads and safety gear, skateboards, scooters are available for rental or for sale in our pro shop. Skate park etiquette is important and we all must be respectful of each other. So please, wait your turn and don't snake anybody. Now that we are safe, let's learn more about the skate park. Before we enter the park past the turnstile, no pedestrians, food or drink are allowed past the stop sign. Only skaters, scooter riders or inliners. Now let's go to the street course. Before we enter, we must look both ways to make sure we are giving others enough space. Watch the flow of the riders and don't get in anyone's way. Now we're going to the foam pit. Here at the foam pit, we're going to demonstrate a knee slide, the safe way to do it. Knee pads are your first line of defense. If you get in trouble, keep your knees bent, keep your body upright, don't sit back because you can hurt the small bones in your ankles. Remember, everybody must have a helmet and knee pads regardless of your age while using the foam ramp. We will now head to the vert ramp. The vert ramp is one of the largest vert ramps in Canada and a very fun obstacle. You again have to wear knee pads and a helmet to use this. We're going to show you how to fall safely doing a knee slide. Now let's head to the mini ramps. Don't just jump on your board and jump in. Wait for your turn, then go. Also, stay a skateboard length from the metal coping around the top of the ramps. The park is there for all of us to share and be courteous to your fellow riders. Please, if at any time you have a question, feel free to ask any of our knowledgeable staff for advice. They are here to help you. Also, we have great teachers and you can book a lesson with one of our certified instructors. We also have the best birthday parties and summer and winter camps in the whole world. Please check us out on our website at www.cjskateboardpark.com. As well, there's an area to make donations to our foundation if you'd like. Thanks for watching this video and coming to our skateboard park and school. You will see many caliber of people out there from experts to beginners, but everyone's there to help everybody and you'll have a great experience. Thanks for coming to CJ's. Have fun.